Welcome to the Weekly Economic Snapshot. American consumers came out of the pandemic in surprisingly good financial shape overall, partly due to financial support from Washington in the 2020 CARES Act and the 2021 American Rescue Plan Act. This helped fuel a really strong recovery. However, recently, there has been concern about the financial health of American consumers and what it might mean for spending going forward. One reason for this is that credit card delinquency, which is low at the end of 2022, has risen above pre-pandemic levels. This indicates that an increasing number of consumers are in financial difficulty. However, it is important to keep in mind that while debts have been rising, so have incomes. If we look at the debt to income ratio of American households, we see that it hasn't been increasing and in fact, it is slightly below where it was at the end of 2019. The same is true with the percent of income Americans must spend on debt service. This is also a little bit lower than before the pandemic. By far, the largest category of household debt is mortgages. The delinquency rate for mortgages has ticked up a bit over the past year, but is still quite low by historical standards and somewhat lower than it was in 2019. Overall, it is somewhat of a mixed picture then. While some consumers are having trouble, the data do not indicate financial problems for American households as a whole. However, the savings rate has been relatively low by historical standards. In April, the savings rate was 3.6%, compared with an average of 6.5% in 2017 through 2019. So it'd still not be surprising to see a little more caution on spending. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.